everybody. Welcome to Edmonton, Alberta. He's Ray Ferraro. I'm James Sabalski. The EA Sports crew is in place. The players are ready to go. What's the message here, Ray? I don't know that there can be a message other than it's so obvious. If you're the team in the lead, it's a chance to stretch the series. If you're the team behind, you got to close that gap. Critical game. Enough talk, enough hype. Let's do this. Your first period is set to go. The quest for Lord Stanley's bug continues right here tonight, and we are underway. Strong defensive effort, and as he stumbles, he coughs up the puck. Taken by Hurdle. The Sharks take it along the wing. And player hauled down to the ice. Looks like we got a tripping penalty coming up here. And there's the whistle. Let's hear the official call. And he's heading to the box for two for tripping on this one. This is such a bad penalty to take because you put yourself yeah. in a bad spot. A player falls down. Now you're cooked. You go to the box. Oh, he's got two minutes to think about it now. Our first opportunity to look at the power play unit set to go to work. Whether there's been a lot of chances or very few chances, what generally breaks the ice is when somebody gets a power play, they get the man advantage, they become a little more aggressive. Battle along the boards. Big play inside the defensive zone. The Sharks move it in. Here's a short pass to Couture. Stick save. That's in a dangerous spot. He makes a good save here. And the goalie covers up for the whistle. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. Still no score in this one. Scoops up the puck off the draw. And a successful clearing attempt. San Jose's got a hold of it along the wall. Steps inside the line. Takes a hit. He goes down to the ice and coughs up the puck. Here's an opportunity to clear the zone. Call that a win for the penalty killers on that one. Yeah, he slams it off the glass. Now the power play's got to go back to get set up. Sends the pass over. Moves it up. Here's the chance to set up now. And that shot dies in traffic. Edmonton's got possession while undermanned. Lifts the stick and takes the puck. Tries to get it out of their own end. Edmonton's penalty killing unit delivers in a big way. Both sides back to even strength. Well, the penalty killers can go back to the bench knowing they did their job. Score remains the same as it was when that penalty was taken. They've got numbers. Sends it over. And that pass goes awry. His reflexes on display tonight. Koskinen's had to be on his game. That's a great chance. And he makes the save. And the puck skips out of the zone. They'll have to regroup. There's the whistle from the linesman calling it offside. I want to go back to that chance we had just a moment ago. The goalie reads the play well, makes a great save on a really good scoring chance. Edmonton's won the draw, and the puck leaves the zone. The Oilers played along the wing. Couldn't make that one happen. Along the boards, they battle for the puck. And some good footwork to kick it away. Quick feed to Cassian. Can't find his man. Picked up along the wall by Cassian. And that one's broken up. Myers caught with the stick, and the officials are signaling for a hooking penalty. And the play is whistled dead. Here's the call. And the officials signaling for hooking on the play. You gotta move your feet here. You're chasing the play. As soon as you stop your feet, you're gonna get called. San Jose's power play unit puts their hard hats on as they go back to work. Easiest thing in the world, James. Tell somebody else to relax. The power play hasn't scored yet. He scores! Put the special in special teams. Well, the coaches have been talking about a few new wrinkles on the power play. They move the puck nicely, and the puck is in the back of the net on the power play. Did he deliver a heavy load on that one? 
one-timer from the high slot. He's open, and this is not stopped. The Sharks were preaching good start before this one, and they've done that so far. What a great start for them. They get aggressively after it in the first five minutes of this period, and they're rewarded with a goal. Score on the power play by number 28. Handles the puck. Log jam in front. That's broken up. Takes a shot, and there's the save. San Jose's had the shot advantages and they also had the lead. Sneaks away with the puck after he was tangled up on the draw. Moves it quickly over to Ferraro. Here he is in close. Denies him in close. Well, he reads the play really well to get out and aggressive to make that save. Everybody likes to think of themselves as a little bit of a clutch performer. If you score at this time of the year, you are that. The Sharks have had multiple scoring opportunities here in this first and could easily have a much bigger lead. They take possession as he locks them up off the faceoff. Can't keep a hold of it as he's jostled off the puck. Gets the full use of his stick on the poke check. Great use of the body to knock him off the puck. Dreisaitl's got it in the defensive end. Slides the puck to Yamamoto. Moves it to Russell. Move to the middle, and that one's broken up. Slides it quickly to Kane. San Jose's got it in their own zone. Oh, smart heads up, Reed. Receives the pass. Good heads up play in the defensive zone. The Sharks move it ahead. The Oilers have it against the wall. Picked up along the boards by Middleton. And makes the routine save. Great reflex. Another save. Really sharp. Never loses sight of the puck to make the second save. Feeds it to Dreisaitl. San Jose's got the puck inside the defensive zone. And now it's over to Kane. Edmonton's got the puck along the wall. They're looking to make something happen through the neutral zone now. Penalty coming up. Quick pass to Donato. And he's off the post. And the play is whistled dead. Let's see what the is coming up. Dennis has been called for holding. Player's got a little bit of a beef here, but when you reach out with your arm, that signals to the official to keep a closer look. It's a penalty no matter how you shine it these days. Back to the face-off circle. They'll send the man advantage unit out again. Time to get back to work on a power play that's already scored tonight. Don't change much. Keep working away in the same manner. Phenomenal save with the glove to knock it away. Moves it to Marlowe. That pass goes a little sideways. Goes right to the crease. Great save from in tight. Here he is from the slot. Again, the denial by the goaltender. Aggressive stop out on top of the crease to make the save on a dangerous chance. Tries to get the puck over to Bear. And they'll get it out of the defensive end. San Jose's got the puck along the boards. The Sharks look to start the transition game. Through center along the wing. Puck knocked loose in the neutral zone. Pass stolen in the open ice. And they'll be forced to regroup after the puck bounces out of the offensive zone. Inching closer to the midway mark of the period. San Jose's ahead, nothing. Puck is dropped and play resumes. Takes the feed at center and moves up ahead. San Jose's got control of it now here in the offensive end. He was locked in there. Here's a short pass, scores! And the power play strikes again. James, they've been working on this in practice for the last little while. It's come through big for them tonight.
The goalie doesn't get a clean look at this with the traffic in front of the net. He's trying to find the puck, and by the time he does, it's behind him. The Sharks have been clicking on all cylinders tonight here in this first period. The two-goal lead is the way it should be. I like the way that they've pursued this game so far. And now it's grabbed by Carlson. Great pass from off the right side. There's the whistle stopping the play. The Oilers will serve two for slashing. There's a penalty of frustration right there. He just reaches out, whacks the player. He's going to the box for a couple minutes. San Jose's got another opportunity here on the man advantage. Some nights things just click along. This power play has been fantastic tonight. Quick feed to Meyer. No one home on that play. Denied by the goaltender. The Oilers are in transition. Karras tripped up and the official's hand is in the air, signaling penalty. There's the whistle. And let's hear what the official's explanation on this one is. Tripping the call on the play. I don't necessarily think he's trying to trip him here, James, but he gets his stick into his feet. Down he goes. Batten down the hatches. Things should open up here with a little four-on-four on, four on the ice. Well, the face-off, of course, is pretty critical. You're not going to have as many scrums four-on-four, four, so if you get the puck first, you're going to get it and hold it. Loses possession after he takes a little hit. The Oilers will play it in their own end. Stick saved by Koskinen. Works it across to Neal. Pumps the puck away. From the point, they take control of it. And the shot dies in the traffic jam. Now into the offensive zone from the right side. The Oilers get a hold of the puck in their own end. Edmonton's in now. Here's a chance. And that one's turned away. Denies him again. Oh, he's locked right in. A couple of stops in a row there. Excellent stick work on the play. Burns moves it ahead. Settles things down and gets control of it once again. Edmonton's got a small window to go to work here on this power play with the penalty expired. Slides it across. Whoa. He scores on the power play. Taking advantage of the extra man. Move the puck well and get on the board. Oh, the penalty killers make a mistake. They give up a man advantage break. And the power play doesn't miss. With the extra man, they score on the rush. The Oilers ready for the faceoff at center ice and narrowing that gap down to one now. Uh, that changes the whole mindset of this game. Now you're down just one. You're in the back half of the period. The Sharks win possession here in the open ice. They've got the defense outnumbered. Too much congestion in front. And that's blocked. In front of the net, the goaltender covers up for a whistle on the play. I had a playoff run like this. When you score in the playoffs, you feel like you can score every night. James and Ray with you tonight. More than half the period has been played. The Oilers have answered back in these last few minutes, but still need one more to even the score. Musa quickly over to Nieto. From the place 99 made famous. Good defensive stop with the poke check. Taken along the wall by Barry. Loose puck battle along the boards. Nice poke check inside the attacking zone. And now he tries to get it across to Cahoon. To the front. Score! In the back of the net. They barely fished the puck out after the last one. Two goals in 70 seconds. You wonder what momentum is. Two quick goals will do it. Get to the net. That's where the goals are. The rebound sits there and he puts it away. Play set to resume with the face off ready to go. Swoops in off the wing to grab the puck after the centerman tied him up. Great hand dive by the goaltender, poking it away. Sends it over to Vlasic. Quick pass to Nieto. Here they are on the attack. Good reach to the stick to knock the puck away. 
Larson swooping in on the attack. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. Good use of the body on the play. Slides it over to Vlasic. And it's a quick pass to Nieto. Right up the gut into the attacking zone. Centered out in front and puts it anywhere but the way he wanted it to go. You can go games without a chance from here. And the puck stopper jumps on top of it to get a stoppage in play. Here in the late goings of the period, we are all tied up in this one. San Jose's won the draw. Centering pass. Can't finish. Oh, Ray, and blown opportunity. It really is. I mean, the play is sitting right there. There's a scoring chance to be had. They just don't execute it. Here he is, wrists on net. Oh, it's denied by Dubnik. Dangerous spot in the slot, and the goalie comes up big with the glove stop. Tries to get it to Ferraro. The Oilers get a hold of the puck along the boards. Taken by Nurse. Makes his presence known on the ice. From his own end, he picks up the puck. And he coughs it up with the pass. Made the save on the play. The Oilers have it in the offensive end. Along the boards, they battle for the puck back and forth. San Jose's got it along the wall. Here's an odd man rush. Sends it across. And that's picked off in front. Edmonton's in transition. Puts it to the front of the net. Shot. Fantastic save. Ferraro's got it in the defensive zone. Passes up ahead from the left wing. And a nice poke check inside the neutral zone. Bears lugging the puck. Scrum ensues along the boards. And pokes the puck loose inside the offensive end. Here he is with the backhander. Tremendous stuff by Koskinen. Dubnik's always a battler. And here he makes a great save on this chance. Puck possession so critical. Another face-off coming up here. Edmonton's got possession here on their own end. Into the attacking end. Pokes it away to keep the pressure on. Moves it to Yamamoto. Textbook stop by Dubnik. Here in the later stages of this period, it's all tied up. And with the two tied up off the faceoff, a great read to grab possession of the puck. Tosses it to Sorensen. Picking up steam in the offensive zone. Great poke check on the reach. Knocked out the puck. Inside the final minute of the first here. Puck battle along the boards. The Sharks have it behind the net. Toss up the puck after that hit. The Sharks take possession in the defensive end. And now he moves it quickly to Shimmick. Grabbed along the board by Kane. Manages to hang on. Here's a short pass to Hurdle. Tees him up! And that shot gets caught in traffic. Easily turned aside by Dubnik. Well, that'll do it for period number one. Opportunities at both ends of the ice create a little bit of offense. Fun start here. Hey, fans, don't forget to find those draw boxes throughout the arena for our signed jersey, which we will give away tonight. And while both teams get a refresher, we'll take one ourselves heading into the second period.
A chance for both teams to refuel. They are back on the ice, and period number two is about set to go. Second period now underway. We'll see how much longer this thing stays tied. Well, we've got over 20 minutes played thus far. Ray, how have you seen things? Koskinen's carried the ball in that first period, James. I think pretty easy to see. He's the main reason this game is tied. Edmonton's moving it along the wing. From the point, looks to make something happen. Puck picked up by LeBanc. Gaining momentum up along the side. Puck scooped up by Shimmick. Nice poke check. Edmonton's gained possession along the boards. Picks off the pass. Kane's got it into offensive territory. Quick feed to Nugent Hopkins. Here's a shot, and he comes up with it. James Sabalski, Ray Ferraro with you here in the early going of this period. You can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. From one point man to another. That knocks him off the puck. Nice pass. Here's a chance, a two-on-one. To his teammate. Meyer's eyes are looking for three. He's got two in his back pocket. Dangerous player now. The Oilers gain control of the puck against the wall. Here's an offensive chance. Scooped up along the wall by Jones. Coming down the left wing and into the zone. And he's tripped up on the play. Referee's hand goes up here. Can't catch up to the pass. Let's get the official decision. Now uh, you react, you go to get the puck, and you stick your stick into the guy's feet. Down you go. Two minutes off to the box. Power play unit going back to work. There's sometimes you need to make adjustments in game. I don't think they have to. They've already scored on the power play. They'll get another one right here. Puck is cleared out of the defensive zone. The Oilers have it behind the cage. From the right side, moves it up ahead. Here's the pass. Off the deflection. Great save by the goaltender to stay with that tip. And that's broken up. Trying to get the puck out of his own end. And manages to clear the zone. Edmonton's got a hold of it against the wall. Handles the pass from the right side. And the puck escapes the zone, and they'll be forced to tag up. Tried to get 2Q with it and loses possession. The Oilers played along the boards. And that's picked off. They clear the zone. Couture's having one of those nights again. He's got multiple points, and you know that he wants more. Moves it quickly over to Neal. Cuts to the paint. He gets a piece of it with a stick. Really good save. Control the rebound. Get it into the corner where you can reestablish yourself. Time's up for the power play. Both teams back to equal strength. Now the pressure wrapped up on the penalty kill there as they go into that last power play tied. They do a really nice job. They keep the game knotted as the power play wasn't able to cash in. Burns carries the puck in his own zone. Sends a pass over. He's got a stride. Great stop by the goaltender. Positioning and quickness. That's the day right there. And that puck leaves the zone. Battle along the boards. Pokes it away here in the neutral zone. Quick pass to Meyer. San Jose's got it across the line. Cuts to the front. The Oilers have it against the wall. Picked up along the wall by Dreisaitl. Dished on over to Yamamoto. Gains the zone from the right. Jabs the puck away. Snaps one here in the slot. Denies him in front. This is a quality chance that the goaltender turns aside right from the slot. Nice zone entry on the left side. Hangs on to the puck. Here's a shot. Denies him. I like the goalie's positioning here. He was aggressive enough to make a save on a dangerous chance. Picks off the pass in the defensive zone. Off the left wing and into center. The Sharks have a hold of it in the defensive zone. A chance in front. And that skips away on a nice defensive deflection. And he moves it up to Nieto. Through the middle of the ice, they enter the attacking zone. 
stays with it. Sends the pass down low. Well, that probably would work a little better if the stick stayed in one piece. No luck in that stick. San Jose's got the puck along the wall. The Oilers take over on possession. San Jose's moving it up the ice. Almost lost the puck, but hangs on here as play continues. Quick pass to chase on. They fight for it along the boards. Taken along the wall by Nieto. Takes the pass. That's blocked. Edmonton's got the puck along the boards. Through the neutral zone now, picking up steam. Edmonton's got the puck against the wall. Big hit along the boards. He uses the boards in perfect form here. He closes off the gap and runs them in. Puts it on net, gets in front of it. We're going to back this up again and get another look at this stop the goalie makes. He makes a solid save on a really dangerous chance. Still lots of time left in the period. We got a tie game. Gets a hold of the puck. Moves it to Yamamoto. Solid hit on the play, and that knocks the puck off his stick. Breaks up the pass in the defensive zone. Knocks the puck away in the open ice. And here's the pass to Sorensen. Quick shot. That's off a stick. Pokes it away to stay on the attack. That pass doesn't go. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Cajon. Steps across the blue line. Quick shot. Huddled away by Dubnik. Yeah, he's right in front of the puck, too. So there's really nowhere that puck's going to squeak through. Pinned up along the boards. Smart defensive play there. Here's a chance right in the slot. And that one's broken up. The Sharks play it along the boards. Here's a short pass to LeBanc. Answered the call on that play. Dubnik's hands are quick. He uses his stick to make this save on the scoring chance. More than half the period has gone by. Hope you're enjoying this one. The next goal could be a big one as we are tied. Locks him up on the draw as they take possession. He might have a step here. Cutting to the front of the net. Denies him with a big time save. He thought he had him beat, but the goalie gets over to make a great stop. Back to the point it goes. Good defensive effort to poke it away. Puts it up front. Quick feed to Ennis. Nothing doing on that. San Jose's got a hold of the puck. And now he angles it across to Kane. The Sharks take it along the wall. And he regains control of the puck. Can't keep a hold of it. Moves it over to Neal. Fires it into the offensive zone. San Jose's got a hold of it along the wall. Moves it quickly over to LeBanc. Couldn't connect, although not exactly an ideal pass to begin with. Oh, a clutch save! Somehow the shooter got loose in the slot, but the goaltender's equal to the task. That's a good save. Wrists one! Here's a backhander. Denies that opportunity. Slides the puck across to McDavid. Nugent Hopkins looks around. And he easily stops that one. Now we'll get another look at this. That's a good shot, but the goalies get the blocker up to make the save. The setters will glide into the dot. got it in the defensive zone. Directed over to Couture. Here's a chance. Moves the puck. Quick pass to Pugliarvi. And he slides it quickly to Jones. Long reach breaks up the momentum. Good hit on the play. Takes the feed. Slides the puck over. Went for the dirty dangle and it goes sideways. On the attack along the boards. Here's a shot. Stopped by the goaltender. Here's a chance. Save made by the goalie. He had to be on top of his game to make that stop. That's a great scoring chance, and he turns it aside. 
just here in the late stages of this frame. We are all tied up in this one. Slides in off the wing after the centerman tied him up. Along the boards, they battle for the puck. The Oilers gain possession along the wall. Slides it diagonally to chase on. That's broken up in the neutral zone. Marlowe's got the puck. Kind of lost control for a second there, but regains possession. Picked up along the boards by Donato. The Oilers gain control of the puck against the wall. Moves it to Cassian. Here they come. San Jose's got the puck inside the defensive zone. And he coughs it up with the pass. Overshot it. Sometimes the only place you have is up over the goalie's shoulder. Sometimes you airmail it. The Sharks get a hold of the puck in their own end. San Jose's looking to break out. Maintains possession. Trying to get back on the attack now. From the top of the offensive zone here. Along the boards, they battle for the puck back and forth. All smart heads are play to put that one away. Here's a short pass to Nieto. The Sharks looking against the half wall. Edmonton's gained possession along the boards. Looking for space inside the D zone. Coughs up possession of the puck. Grabs control of it at the point. Edmonton's looking to break out of their own end. Gaining momentum along the wing. Edmonton's got it along the wall. That's a textbook save by Dubnik. Getting into the later stages of this period. It's all tied up. Back underway, and they take possession here inside the offensive zone. Made that stop. Yeah, he gets out on top of the shooter. There's really nowhere for that puck to go. Myers going to play it against the half wall. Right in the slot, and they can't connect. Tries to get it over to Turris. And he slides it quickly to Jones. Moves the puck into the attacking area. Right in the slot. Whiffs on that. Puck grabbed by Couture. Dishes it to Carlson. Circles back to center ice. Quick pass across to McDavid. Offside the call, and we'll have a face-off just outside the blue line. I loved making that save in road hockey. The old blocker stop. The centermen glide into position. Edmonton's got a hold of the puck off the draw. Slides it across to Pugliarvi. The Sharks get a hold of the puck along the boards. Settles things down and gets control of it once again. Quick feed down low. With possession along the wall. Not able to connect. Quick feed to Nurse. Fearless, totally fearless on the block. Period comes to an end, and lucky us, we've got one more period to go in what has been a fun one this evening. Automobile-related pollution is on the increase your part and take public transit to and Big third game. period still to come. We'll get ready for it. Hope you'll join us. Great night, two periods down, one more to go, and they're ready to drop the puck here on period number three. Third period, we are all tied up, and the next goal could be a biggie. Sends it in on the attack. The Oilers have it now. Bears gaining momentum. Jostled off the puck. Tries to feed it across. The Oilers scoop it up along the boards. Grabbed along the boards by Puyo Yarvi. And now he moves it to Nugent Hopkins. Good use of the body to knock them off the puck. And the stick gets a piece of it. Shimmick's got it along the boards. 
And now it's over to McDavid. The Sharks get a hold of the puck and couldn't find the intended receiver on that one. Pokes the puck away. And now it's grabbed by McDavid. Takes the feed. Comes up with the stop. San Jose's got a hold of it against the wall. Moves it quickly over to Shimmick. Scooped up along the wall by Dreisaitl. Cahoon's taking it from his own end. Dreisaitl's got the puck along the wing. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Quick pass to Jones. Referee signals penalty coming up here with a delayed call. Play comes to a stop, and let's see what the call is. Couture's getting two for holding. I got a laugh here. The player says, what are you looking at to the official? And he's like, you holding him. Putting the grab and clutch and grab on that one. Another special teams opportunity for both sides as the man advantage unit is back to work again. I like the way that their plan has been successful, and it's pretty obvious they're going to stay with that same mode. Good battle along the boards for the puck. The Sharks have it against the wall. Grabs the puck here in their own end and manages to clear the zone. Edmonton's got control of it now from their own end. And he gains the zone here. Vlasic's taken down to the ice. We got a penalty coming up. Here's the official call. So often in a, in a shifty little play that you're trying to get to the puck, you get your stick in the wrong spot, he steps on your stick and there's nothing you can do. A little four-on-four four coming up here. Puck control is critical on a four-on-four four as the game is right now. Face-off holds greater importance to me when you're down a man on each side. Quick pass over to Nugent Hopkins. Here's a shot with the stop. Scores! And the deadlock is broken! Well, what a crushing goal to give up. But the other guys work hard for it. They press the play, and now they've got the lead. Once his puck bounces off the goaltender the first time, the shooter's the next guy in position. The D can't turn quick enough, and he puts it away into the net. The Oilers have gone ahead here in this third period. They'll want to continue to be aggressive, though, James. They don't have enough of a cushion to sit back. Off the draw, and he ties up his opponent. Quick feed to Jones. Straight up the middle. Here they come. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. With the stop. San Jose's got the puck along the wall. And it's kicked away. Moves it to Dreisaitl. Taken by Middleton. San Jose's across the blue line. The Sharks' penalty has expired. They now go to work on the power play. And the puck is cleared to a safer spot. Gets it over to Ferraro. Dishes it to Marlowe. From the left side, takes it at center. Takes a wrist shot. Great stick save by Koskinen. Still lots of time left here in this frame. Edmonton's got the momentum with a one-goal lead. They'd love to add to that. And as the puck is dropped, they win the draw here inside the defensive zone. And they manage to clear it. Takes the feed. The Sharks remain a goal behind as they fail to convert on the power play. Well, not much they're going to be able to do about that. The power play failed. Now they go back to even strength. San Jose's got the puck along the boards. And now he tries to get it across to Nosen. Edmonton's got the puck in their own end. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. The Oilers carry it along the wall. Here's a short pass to Cassian. The Sharks have it from their own end. Looking dangerous as they move along the boards. Couldn't find the intended target. And he denied that opportunity. Officials getting ready to drop the puck. Puck possession, so key in today's game. 
Nice job tying up his opponent. Gains the soul through the middle. Edmonton's got the puck along the wall. Dreisaitl's dangerous. He scores! Make that four straight! They seem stunned. Like they cannot stem the tide. The four straight goals have been just a dominating stretch of play. He's tight to the net. He doesn't have much time. And that snapshot beats the goaltender from the low slot. The Oilers get a hold of the puck off the draw. Steps inside. Chase from along the wall. What a save. He'll probably feel that one tomorrow. Big stop by the keeper. He scores. Jumps all over his rebound and puts it in. Bang, bang. Shot off the goalie. The puck falls down, and the shooter's the one that gets to the rebound, and he puts it in. Edmonton's on fire tonight, and they show no signs of slowing down in the third. This has been almost a perfect hockey game for them. When they look at the video, they're going to be really happy. And the puck departs the zone. Cahoon's got it in the defensive end and tries to make a diagonal pass to Yamamoto. Nice zone entry from the right side. San Jose's got the puck. Exploring options here inside the defensive zone. And now he angles it across to Hurdle. And that's stopped by the goaltender using his head this time. Koskinen's goaltending at one end and the offensive output at the other has made for a good night. Nice defensive robbery with the stick. And the traffic jam in front blocks the shot. Let's it go from the slot. Oh, misses. Tries to deliver it quickly. He just fires it wide of the net. San Jose's got a hold of it along the wall. The Sharks move the puck in the defensive zone. Quick feed to Middleton. And he's taken down the official's arm, signaling for a penalty. Here comes the sentence. The Oilers will lose a man tripping the call. Now reaches in with his stick and he'll go to the box. The Sharks once again send out their power play unit. At some games you just never get any power play. Some games they just come out like water from a tap. Here's another one, and both teams have been really effective on the power play tonight. And too much traffic in front blocks that one. And the puck clears the zone. Tries to get this man advantage going from their own end now. The Sharks gain possession along the wall. Hurdles moving it ahead. Sends it over. And that's broken up with a stick in front. Turned aside with the glove by Koskinen. Plenty of playing time left in this frame. The Oilers have been the better squad so far tonight. They lead it 5-2. On the heels of their blades, trying to get it out, and they get it down. Yeah, good communication. They talk to each other. They're in the right spot. They just clear it down the ice. And that's picked off in front. Puck move back to the neutral zone. The Sharks have it behind the cage. San Jose's got it against the boards. Keeps hold of the puck. They get it out of the defensive end. Just a few seconds remaining here with this man advantage. Can they get something going here? From the right side, he goes to the middle of the neutral zone. A chance to clear. The Sharks fire blanks on the power play. We're back to even strength here. There are times as penalty kill has looked like it's up on two wheels tonight, but they kill this last penalty off, and we go back to even strength. Pugliarvi's carrying it ahead. The Oilers gain control of the puck against the wall. Nugent Hopkins has got it along the wall. Moves it quickly over to McDavid. Stopped by the goaltender. Feeds the puck to Carlson. Directs it on over to Donato. Huge steal in his own end. 
Nice stick work to knock the puck loose. And now it's grabbed by Puyo Yarvi. Quick pass to Barry. Takes a shot, and that one's stopped. Edmonton's laying a pounding on the opposition tonight, generating numerous scoring chances and converting on what feels like almost all of them. Puck picked up by Neal. Taken by Burns. Sends the pass over. They've got numbers. And the puck leaves the offensive zone. They'll be forced to tag up. Manages to hang on. Now a quick pass to Turris. Knocks the puck loose. Stays with it. They fight for it along the boards. And now he moves it to Ennis. Fails to find the open man. Couldn't connect on that pass. Dubnik's going to cover it up and get a whistle. Even with the traffic starting to close in, he had to grab that when he did. The Oilers have looked good tonight, especially offensively here in this third period. They take possession as he locks them up off the faceoff. Handles the puck. Receives the pass. Made the stop on the play. And another stop. Stop one, stop two. The goalie makes a couple of excellent saves. Koskinen's made an excellent stop here. He follows the puck and shuts down the scoring chance. More than half the period has expired. Edmonton's got a three-goal lead here. They're up 5-2. Takes possession of the puck off the draw. Picked up along the wall by Nurse. San Jose's gained possession along the boards. Oh, and another big stop! That's why a goalie can never relax. He makes one stop. Now he's got to be sharp to make another. Looks to set up along the point. Couldn't complete the play. Cahoon's picking up steam. The Sharks get a hold of the puck along the boards. San Jose's playing it from the side. And a poke check knocks the puck away. Nears the blue line and looks to set up at the point. Takes a bump but still hangs on to the puck. Played big in the moment there. Nice poke check inside the attacking zone. Passes over to Cahoon. Gains the zone through center. Moves the puck along the half wall. And it's a quick pass to Bear. Great read to break up the play. San Jose's got the puck against the boards. And the lane's clogged up blocking that. Came up with the save on that play. Koskinen's got it, and he'll elect for the whistle. Jumped on it pretty quickly there, and like everything else tonight, he's really looked in control. He's had an excellent game. Those are the saves that are gifts from the goaltender. That looked like an automatic goal. He's able to make the stop. Here in the later stages of this period, Edmonton's got a 5-2 lead. Puck scooped up. He scores! Now it's only a two-goal game. Also gets progressively better for them, but they need another one. They gotta throw a quick back-to-back -back goal up here. Oh, the defensive player just can't lose this draw this cleanly. James, he loses it, it goes right to the shooter. It's in the net before anyone can move. The Sharks still have a big hill to climb here, but they got one back, Ray. They're going to have to get their D up into the play, take a couple of chances. One is not going to do it. Sharks Puck grabbed by Russell. Moves it to chase on. And they fail to go tape to tape. Middleton's lugging the puck. Strong defensive effort. Comes up with the stop. Koskinen's read the situation, and he's just going to let it breathe here, Ray. Well, every once in a while, the goalie will get a sense that the guys are starting to run around. He's been on top of it tonight. Been an excellent game. San Jose's offensive struggles have been the story tonight. Lots of chances, just not a lot of results. Let's it go. Makes the save. And now it's over to Pugliarvi. Russell stick handling in his own zone. The Sharks scoop it up along the boards. Lifts the stick and takes the puck. Pokes it away to keep the pressure on. The Oilers will play it from the defensive zone. Pins them against the boards as they battle for the loose puck. He's got a step. Oh, what a stop. I 
makes an excellent stop. One on one with the shooter. He follows him nicely to make the stop. Huge. Misses. It was right there, Ray. Oh, it's such a great chance, and he doesn't get the shot on net. Here's a short pass to Meyer. They've got the defense outnumbered. That goes off a twig. And now it's grabbed by Ennis. Pinned up along the boards. Tries to get the puck to McDavid. Up along the wing. Slides the puck across to Ennis. Tries to the crease. Puck picked up by Barry. Takes it right in the chest. And the referee has blown his whistle, bringing a stop to the play. Dubnik's on top of this. That's an enormous stop on a scoring chance. Here in the late going of the frame, no shortage of offense on display tonight on the ice. It's a 5-3 game. Taken by Jones. And he stands tall in goal. And now he tries to get it across to Sorensen. No, you're not going to get away with that one right in front of the official. Delayed penalty coming up. It's a tripping, it looks like. Ray, it looks like tripping. It's amazing how coaches get angry with a tripping penalty, but they don't seem to say much if it's a boarding penalty. It's still two minutes. Two is two, yeah. What just seems lazier, though, isn't it? Yeah, well, maybe I don't want to hit anybody, and I take a <laughs> tripping penalty. Safety first. San Jose's power play unit puts their hard hats on as they go back to work. The Oilers win the draw. Cassian's got the puck in his own zone. Gets it out of his own end. San Jose's got a hold of it against the wall. Up along the wall on the right side and into the attacking area. Big save. And pokes the puck loose inside the offensive end. Good clearing attempt to breathe. The Sharks have it against the wall. Sends it quickly to Meyer. And that's broken up. Trying to come up with a huge defensive play to get this puck out of his own end. San Jose's got a hold of it along the wall. That's moved up ahead. That's a big time hit along the wall. It is, James. I love the way he used the angle. He took away all the ice. And there's the final horn bringing this one officially win. Well, anybody who thought that this was going to be a quick series have been sorely mistaken after tonight. At the very least, you drop that first game. All you can think about is not the big picture, it's the small one. We need to split the first two games. They did a really good job. Yeah, mission accomplished tonight. It's a foreign concept to think that players like The Rocket or Mr. Hockey would have done this way back. But they wouldn't have done this. It's a regular occurrence now. But now things have changed, and this is what you should do. Well, this one's in the books. A fun one tonight for Ray Ferraro. My name is James Sabalski. Thanks for joining us, everyone. Good night.